Hey, it's Denny. I'm here in Saigon. I'm about to go teach in uh, Tan, Tan Fu, I think. It's a secondary school, a dormitory. Teenagers, uh, when I get there, they will have just awoken from a nap. Um, about half the student body lives at the school. They're a little less than enthused about learning English sometimes. It, uh, it's one of my toughest classes I've had since I've been here. Uh, but, but overall, they're pretty nice. Uh, some things to keep in mind about teaching English in Vietnam. Uh, I mentioned in my last video I've always tried to set up a situation where I can teach 40 hours a week. What I meant to say was I want to teach 40 hours a week and make 20 bucks an hour or close to that. Uh, they have jobs here. They have schools that will offer you a position uh, that they will call full time and they will have you tied up for 40 hours a week. Uh, you'll teach about four hours a day but they're going to offer you about 12 to $1,500 a month for that. Um, if they keep you there for 160 hours a month and give you uh, $1,500, that's not $20 an hour. Um, and furthermore, a lot of schools have contracts that are very, uh, they're beneficial to the school, but they're, they're not beneficial to you. Uh, the last contract I saw, it basically stated in there that if you're late or absent, they're going to deduct twice your hourly rate. That's a little bit excessive because it's too easy to be late here in Saigon. Uh, traffic and uh, and the rain, I mean, it's, it's impossible, really impossible, especially if you have to drive uh, an hour to get to your school. Um, it's, not, it's not too difficult to be late sometimes. Uh, and then when they don't pay you for a whole month and you get into a situation where you don't want to be in that situation, they're going to hold your check over your head and, and they might not pay you. There's been a lot of people who, uh, who have lost money, maybe uh, half their pay or more, uh, when they, they didn't uh, please the school in the way the school would like. So I would advise you not to get into a contract like that. You can find jobs where you can get paid weekly and uh, and not have to work under a contract. Right now I'm working for three employers and uh, two of them pay me weekly. One of them pays me monthly but they're, they are a, a legitimate operation and they always pay me, uh, pay me on time. Um, So I'm able, I'm able to make that work. I get paid on the 10th, and then I get paid, I get paid weekly by two employers. So uh, it's not quite, uh, it's not 40 hours a week though, but it is, uh, it adds up to 40 hours if you include all the driving. So that's kind of, that's a little bit of what it's like uh, teaching English in, in Vietnam. Uh, I guess that's about it. I should go. I got to get to my school and I still have about 20 minutes to drive. So uh, I'll try to make more uh, another video later with uh, more information. Uh, thanks for uh, being patient with me. Have a nice day.